SOT has been a very integral part of my educational and professional journey. It was here at SOT where I met my mentors who have guided me through my career trajectory. Being a part of SOT, being able to attend annual meetings over the past 13 years now has helped me stay abreast of the scientific advances, present my research, serve in elected SOT committees, leadership roles, um, and most importantly, to mentor the younger generation, the upcoming generation of toxicologists and paying it forward. All these experiences and um, you know opportunities at SOT have helped me navigate through my career trajectory as I transition from food to medical devices and finally in the tech industry. While regulatory agencies have formal definitions of biocompatibility of medical devices, but to put it in layman's terms, it is the ability to be in contact with the living system without producing any adverse effects. It is not only important to evaluate biocompatibility of medical devices, it is highly relevant for consumer products, consumer electronics as well, and depends on the nature of exposure, exposure route, um, all those considerations come into play while evaluating consumer electronics. Toxicology is a critical aspect when it comes to safety evaluation across all industries, be it med devices, cosmetics, textiles, consumer products. And um, looking from the perspective of consumer electronics here at, talk, uh, at SOT, to the best of our knowledge, this is the very first time that there is a scientific session focusing on the role of toxicology in consumer electronics. And some of the key takeaways from this session, the speakers from different sectors, government, industry, consulting, they discuss the different risk assessment toxicology approaches when it comes to biocompatibility and safety evaluation for med devices, cosmetics, wearables, and then how we can leverage these approaches to develop a harmonized um, standard approach to evaluate consumer electronics, especially the emerging ones. So finding a path forward.